hi loves welcome back to our channel it's your favorite girl Oluwa Kemi Adesola if you are seeing my face for the first time please be nice to join the family by clicking on that subscribe button down there and turn on the notification beside it so that whenever I upload a, a new video you will be the very first person to know and if you are a returning subscriber you are an OG I really appreciate you for coming back Today, I am going to be gisting with you guys about pet peeves. According to the dictionary, pet peeve is something or an act or anything that a particular person finds annoying. So I will employ you, I will beg you to watch this video till the end and listen if you will by any chance hear any pet peeve that you think you do and you probably do not know that it is annoying the person next to you so that you can quickly stop it now i went on the internet i asked a couple of people i also asked some of my friends what their pet peeves are so that's what i'm going to be gisting with you guys today and this pet peeves include some of you know my personal <laughs> my personal pet peeves so the very first and most common one is people who chew loudly at first i thought it was just me that found it irritating but then why are you eating and it's like you have a microphone you know it's like you're chewing and you're using a microphone so the whole world can hear you like are you a goat take your time to answer that why are you chewing and you know everybody can hear you doing are you a god it is so irritating people need to stop chewing loudly try and be conscious of when you're eating i understand when people are chewing maybe a fruit like a mango um vegetables or something that is a very different thing that is me hearing the sound of what you're eating not the sound of the inner part of your mouth smacking together and like beating against each other chewing loudly is so irritated another common one is people who shout over the phone they go like this hello yes can you hear me Mom, you're shouting why wouldn't I hear you because I, I, I'm not deaf like the person you're talking to over the phone is not deaf this kind of people they can't even secretly say something over the phone the whole world will definitely hear them I don't know why they feel the need to shout it's like there's a woofer it's like there's a speaker it's like there's a speaker box in their throat they just feel the need to shout if you are this kind of person please people find it annoying people will poke their noses like why is your finger in your especially in public let's say you're in your house it's something that you can still find yourself unconsciously doing inside your house but why should that kind of habit follow you outside your house imagine you're in public with your friend and before you know it she's already like oh uh-huh yeah oh like that is so dirty and irritating and the funny thing imagine that kind of person offering you an handshake right after poking the like hold up mm -mm. i'm not just keep your hands to yourself people who talk during movies probably the person i've seen the movie before or you guys are even seeing it together for the first time but they either keep talking they keep asking you questions they just make the old movie so irritating and not enjoyable you know they do something like so what so what is going to happen next fam i don't know we're just watching it together right now so how do you expect me to know what is going to happen next and if they've seen the movie before they'll they'll do something like just just watch you see what is going to happen now you are spoiling the suspense for me stop talking during movies just be quiet and enjoy your movie and let me also enjoy my movie sweat and this is a personal thing for me i don't understand why you went out to jog 
or you went to the gym or you played football or something then you come back into the house and you feel the need to sit on the bed on the couch or lean against the wall the first thing that should come to your mind is taking a shower and freshening freshen up why because when you lean against the wall you leave your sweat mark there when you sit on the couch you leave your sweat mark there and sweat stinks jesus it stinks so badly you shouldn't even be comfortable with yourself if you have sweat on you the first thing that should come to your mind when you get back into the house is to freshen up i said what i said don't kill people with your sweat smell please so another pet peeve is people who need you to suffer because they are laughing i mean people will laugh and smack or beat the person next to them like they go <laughs> it's so funny bah why why do i have to suffer why does the person next to you have to suffer when you're finding something funny it is a very irritating habit stop it laugh and keep your hands to yourself i don't need all that <laughs> because if you beat me i will beat you back i will fake laugh and slap you and i don't think it's because i'm laughing <laughs> honestly it is so annoying now this other one is for girls it is common with girls so i do not know why girls leave their houses wearing very short clothes i get the old it's your body you can do whatever you want i just personally find it annoying why would you wear short clothes and while you're out all you're going to spend your time doing is dragging these clothes down i mean when you bought it you saw you saw the length when you wore it you saw the length you looked in your mirror you saw how it looked on your body so why should you now make yourself uncomfortable by coming out and every second you go you're pulling the clothes down because you think it is too short so if you are aware if you were aware of that before leaving your house why did you still wear it you should have changed it into something more comfortable so i personally find it annoying i just don't like seeing girls you know dragging their clothes down every minute it is annoying if you are that kind of person please try and get outfits that are really comfortable no offense to anybody it's people who rub their hands on the wall there is this thing called handkerchief there is also another one called napkin there are also hand towels that that was created for the sole purpose of cleaning the hands so why are you rubbing your hands against the wall why did you turn the wall to a napkin why have you chosen to turn the wall to a napkin to an handkerchief it is dirty it is unclean if you are this kind of person that you just find yourself subconsciously you're rubbing your hand try and caution yourself these are very bad habits you know when you eat and the food gets stuck at like the at the back of your mouth and instead of putting water in your mouth jiggle it and throw it out because when you jiggle it it will be the first will bring out the food particles that are in your mouth but instead of doing that some people feel the need to stick their finger there and do that uh uh, uh uh no 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 ask yourself is that not dirty even if it is in the comfort of your house that you're doing that it is still dirty why do you feel the need to put your hands in your mouth to bring the food particles out just put water in your mouth and throw it out you see the particles in the sink i don't get why people do this it is so dirty now let's talk about those that stare at other people's phone i'm sitting and i'm pressing my phone you know i'm just doing my own thing probably texting somebody and i don't see the next person to me like what are you looking for this phone is my phone it's not for both of us so why why what are you looking for why okay ju just take it take it continue what i was doing 
because i don't see the need i don't get why people do that like that is like the height of interfering in other people's business what are you looking for what is your aim what is your aim what do you want did you keep something on my phone okay do you want to complete the text or do you want to scroll on instagram or something i don't know why people do that last but not the least this one is also personal to me and quite a few people also mentioned it and i'm talking about people who interrupt you when you are talking it is rude it is rude and it is rude let people talk like don't cut them halfway let them express themselves let them like I, i'm talking let me talk and when i'm done you can take over if you have something to say don't tell people uh uh uh, uh. and you know you just call them short you shut them up and you say whatever you want to say let them finish you will also have your own time it's not like we're having a debate or something even in debates i think each party is let the other one talk and express themselves so let people talk stop interrupting people stop cutting people short just be respectful and let people talk without you interrupting them so that's the end of today's video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed yet click on that subscribe button right now and um it's all up from my end this video is not directed to any person in particular but if you find yourself in any of these categories if the shoe fits kindly wear it and correct yourself that's all for today guys i'll see you in my next video i love you